So today, lesson 71, let us do one hour strategy. When I say one hour strategy, I mean using one hour time frame for your entry. And that is your time frame uh, to be using if you want this one hour strategy. People don't understand, even if you're doing lower time frame, the higher time frame really matters. Anytime you want to be a 15 minute time frame a trader, one hour, 30 minutes, two hours, of course, monthly time frame has to give you direction. You may not go to monthly, weekly, daily, but at least go to monthly, get the direction of the trend, then now go to one hour. I want to show you an easy way to do this. First of all, you need to say, if I want to be a one hour trader, the first thing I need to use monthly for the trend. So monthly, you're just going there for the trend. Why? You don't want to trade on one hour, buy, and monthly is a sale. You don't want that confusion. And then you say, if I want to trade on the one hour time frame, four hour, I have to check on what four hour is doing. So when you go to four hour, the, the, what you're really checking on four hour, no pattern whatsoever. So on four hour, there is no pattern like to rely on. The minute four hour does not have a pattern, like you can see it's an uptrend, a downtrend, but there is no pattern. You can't spot is a double top, double bottom, ranging channel. You can't spot those things. Let me tell you now, the chance for you to shine is on one hour. So you have to know that we use two time frame so that it can get us to one hour. So by the time you are going to one hour, what are you going to check? You're going to check a double bottom you're going to check a double top or you're going to check a ranging channel ranging channel rc so either we get the rc the ranging channel the dt the double top or the db the double bottom on one hour that's what you trade so you need to understand every time you are you are saying I, i'm a one hour time frame trader of course monthly has given you the trend and four hour there is no pattern and let me show you uh <clears throat> what we, I mean by this. Let me first delete everything. So when you go to this, this is a live trading stroke, a one hour trading strategy, like one hour uh, live trading. So you can have a four hour live trading, you can have one hour live trading. It's all the what you want. And because today is Tuesday, that's why we are talking of live trading. Every Tuesday, I'll be giving you live trading examples, trades, signals, whatever you want to call them. So this is NSD, USD. The market has come from all the way here. So the market started from 2021. The market has been going down. So that is evident enough that this market is a sale. From 2021, and then we enter 2022, and then we go to 2022, October. The market did a retracement, and as it was doing a retracement, guess what it did? It made a pattern. It made a double top. Also, when you have a bigger pattern on, on monthly, it is an added advantage. Why? You have a double top on the monthly, meaning this double top, the market is supporting a sale. And this double top has never hit our neckline, which it is not normal. So the market, if it has a double top, it has to go to the neckline. So it has never hit neckline. And as you can see, the market has been doing what? Has been consolidating on the, on the half. So the market broke half, how many months ago? They broke half on, the, on June. And since June, the market has never went down. If we can check the higher uh, previous candle, it's this bearish engulf. Of course, with bearish engulf, what else do you want? If monthly we can get a bearish anchor, this red candle has engulfed the spinning top, the green candle. What do you expect? The month of November, the market shall drop. Now you have evidence why the market should sell. You see, many people think, oh, I'm, I want you to create a video of one hour time frame. At the end of the day, you cannot ignore the fact that you still need to go to monthly and get the bigger picture. And that's why many people get lost. Why? They just want to open their chart, go to one hour and try to trade. Yes, you can make money, but it won't be a consistent way of making money. If you want to make money fast, go to monthly, identify the trend, identify if you can see a pattern even more better because a trend with a pattern is more confirmation. So this is a sale. And from where the market is, from where the market is to the take profit is 417 pips. So if you want the 417 pips, that's what you start asking yourself. I want 417 pips, but the question is, 
this 417 pips i cannot just just sell because why is this market buying in the first place so i just need to go lower time frame so even if you go to weekly just for a review you will see the market is exactly it is a sell this market has declared to be a sell and because this was like a ranging pattern the market is when once it starts to sell it's going to that distance so even weekly it is telling you this market is still a what it is still a sell you see the market is still a sell so when you come to the daily time frame when you come to the daily time frame you find out that the market has just stopped all of a sudden so this is where everything starts to make sense why is this market stopping and for two days, even if to, this candle has not closed yet, for two days, the market has started to drop. What is making this market? Yes, we have this big candle, a red candle, but what made this market to drop? It's not, just, it's not like we have a resistance. We don't have a resistance. What is making this market to drop? And that's the question you ask yourself. That is the question, guys, you ask yourself. Note, this market had this double top. Can you see? There was this double top. And the market broke the neckline. So the market never finished this journey of the double top. Even daily is telling you the market has been selling, but it has never finished this journey. You see? So all of a sudden, the market, we can't, we can we say this was a retracement? Can we call this as a retracement? Understanding that here we had a double top. Can we call that a retracement? And again, this retracement, the question is, why has it stopped? Why has it stopped? Because we understand that buyer stops when they meet a resistance. Why is a resistance here? Why is the market stopping? Those, these are the questions you ask yourself. You can't get answers on the daily. You cannot. If we go to four hour, we are trying to think, why is the market behaving the way it is behaving? So the market has stopped here. This is evident enough, the market stopped. So the market has come here and it has stopped. So the question is, why stop here? But when we look left, there is nothing we can see. We cannot see any resistance. Any time, I don't know which name I will call this strategy, but any time the market stops with no reason, it is a way to go and dig out on the lower time frame. Your answer is always on the lower time frame. So anytime the market stops from buying and starts to sell, and from your eyes, there's nothing that is making this market to stop. It means on higher time frame or on lower time frame, there's a reason. So let me delete everything. So the market has stopped. And as we can look on the left, no resistance. So what we do, we are thinking this is our resist, this is our, this is our, our resistance created. And this resistance being created, what really made this market to sell? Because here yeah, I don't have a resistance. What really made this market to stop? Because when the markets come to a place and it stops, it means there's something, a resistance is there. And if there's no resistance, we now start to think otherwise. So I go to two hours. I'm trying, I'm still trying to figure out why is this market stopped? I come, nothing, no resistance, nothing. I go to one hour. You see, by the time you're doing this, already you understand what is happening. You come to one hour and you find one hour, there was a resistance. Guys, you see how the market sometimes it is hidden. Only the Holy Spirit who can show you such resistance that are hidden. You find on one hour, there was a resistance. This is what is making the market to drop. And if this resistance has been activated on the second attempt, it means we have a what? A double top. Imagine having a double top on one hour. Very easy trade. This is a trade to show you that you can trade on one hour and make money. So everyone thought the market is still a buy. Those who had bought, they're thinking, why is this market selling? I'm buying. Why is it selling? They never saw that double top. So there is this double top. So we are thinking, if that is our double top, if that's our double top. I even did um, Telegram. I texted on the Telegram. I posted on the Telegram. 
you have not joined telegram there's the link below i told guys can have you noticed we have one hour double top on nsdsd take a look at it and you can make money out of that so this is a trade we already know we have a double top now where is our entry our entry is still the same we are using c s b current support break guys can you see where our current support break is you know people say people say it's because of our playback you know when i'm doing back testing they'll say it's because of playback you are getting it right but the question is when this market broke here and you entered at this area because already you are late on this trade if you entered here how many pips would you have made it's 44 pips and this market is still going down the market is still going down to another 43 pips now because we are late to enter this trade the market has a habit i've seen it the market always have a habit to go back to where it broke or where it broke so that it can go down so i want you to really pay attention why is it that because they can still make a double top around this pit. i want you to pay close attention i want even to put an, uh, an alert if this market comes near this area you are placing a sell in fact go and place a sell limit at 59.80 so that is your sell limit this time we will not do a buy a sell execution you will do a sell limit at 59.80 what you are trying to say is that if the market comes at this area that's when i'm comfortable selling so we won't sell now because already we are late um we sell at where the market comes that area so we will be waiting for that market to pull up pull back so if you are watching this video imagine you have missed an opportunity on one hour so this market if it is stretched back it will be retracing so we want it to retrace at least 47 pips so that it can give us an entry so we will we will place a sell limit at 59.80 that's our sell limit so once that sell limit is activated, you are now take profit will be at 58. Sell limit 59.80, take profit at 58.88. So basically, we are targeting how many pips? 93 pips. So I want you to comment down below. If you don't know how to place a sell limit, comment down below because every Wednesday I'll be showing you how to trade using your phone. So comment down below. Let this video has so many comments on how, what do you want to know on the phone? Because every Wednesday I want to dedicate it on the phone. Many people don't have laptops. I even didn't have a laptop when I was starting to trade back in 2020. You see the area that I'm showing you that the market can come to, it's an area, of, it's a very interesting area because even on four hour we can have a double top. So this is a very interesting area. The market can still come to that zone. And that's why I want us to place a sell limit at 59.80. Guys, if the market hits this half without us, just forget about that trade. You're already late. But I will not, I will not tell you to jump on this trade because market love retracing. So you might find the market stops there and it can retrace back. And it can even take one candle to retrace back. So that's not a big deal for this market. Just put a sell limit. So I want you to comment down below on this video, any kind of a video you would want me to do with your phone. Do you want me to show you how to analyze using a phone? Do you want me to show how you, you use trading view using a phone? Do you want me to show you how you place a trade? How you, like, how do you want me to, how, what is that that you want me to show you? Every Wednesday, it will be a, a trading with a phone trading with your mobile phone. I want to show you, I want to simplify it for you so that at the end of the day, everyone is in the sink of trading. Thank you so much guys for watching. I hope this video was helpful. This is the only way you can trade live on one hour. I have shown you a live trade. This is a live trade. Those people who say, oh, this trade is just because this is a live trade, guys. This is a live trade. If you had entered here, the market is still dropping. But because now we are late, we will wait for this market to pull back and then now we can get our sale. So don't underestimate time frame. As long as you know what you're doing, 
do not underestimate time frame. So I want to show you that every time, every time you are in a trade, just ask yourself, what is really pushing me to trade on this pair, on this time frame? So if you go to one hour, it means on four hour, you cannot understand it. Because why is this market dropping anyway? Why is this market dropping? Anyway, thank you so much, guys, for watching. All the best. Love you. See you in the next one.